I'm Ed Shank with a second look at road construction. Yes, those orange barrels and orange cones, and I wrote a column in this past weekend's journal about that. You look at years of local leaders opposing road projects in Dane County because of fear of sprawl. There's no question that then County Exec Kathleen Fogg opposed Highway 12 in Sox City, was never thrilled about Verona Road. And even going back to the late 80s, her days as public intervener for the DNR, she opposed the Beltline expansion. So I know it takes two to tango. The DOT wanted to do the Verona Road project years ago. They finally reached a compromise after complaints coming from Epic about employees not going to get to work fast enough. Neither side got 100% of what I wanted, but we go forward. Uh, the gas tax stopped, indexing that is, stopped in 2006. Every year we would average one to cent to two and a half cents a year. That's not much. The price fluctuates more than that in a day. We ended that. Republicans said, let's end it. Jim Doyle, a Democrat, signed it. Jim Doyle also raided the transportation fund in his first term to the tune of about a billion dollars. So there's enough blame to go around here. But now what do we do? I say the registration fee, which brings in about $650 million a year at $75 a pop, you can raise that to the rate of inflation. Would that really be so bad? Other states pay a lot more. I understand that. We bring in a billion dollars a year from the gas tax at 30.9 cents a gallon. We don't apply the sales tax to the purchase of gasoline like other states do, and for God's sake, just bring back indexing. I want the barrels out of my face faster. I don't know if you do. We can't just keep kicking the can down the highway. My two cents, my two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCosh, and a lobbyist who gets things done at Capital Consultants. We'll talk tomorrow on the radio at 92.1 FM. See you then.